So you already know that you need to stop watching pornography. You already know that there are so many benefits to NoFap and this is a habit that is destroying your masculinity. But here you are again, watching another NoFap video, watching another video on porn addiction because you're about to relapse. Maybe you already relapsed or maybe you identify as someone who is addicted to internet pornography, who wants to stop but is unable to do so, okay? So the question remains, why is this the case? Why is it that we can know what to do but still not do what we know? That is really what gets to the root cause of porn addiction, of NoFap, of why even NoFap exists in the first place, okay? Because NoFap in reality is only a band-aid, all right? It's a band-aid for a symptom that we call porn addiction, but the root cause is actually running very, very deep. And until this root cause is addressed, you will continue to count your days every single day, count your streak, and just be on the edge of relapsing. So. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what this root cause exactly is, how you can address it, and both of these questions will reveal the untold truth about NoFap and porn addiction. Now, before diving in, let's just get clear on what exactly addiction even means, because I would identify as someone who is addicted to personal growth, who is addicted to eating healthy foods that energize my body, who is addicted to forming deep compassionate, empathetic, genuine relationships with people, who is addicted to exercise, who is addicted to exhibiting the behaviors that enhance my well-being, okay? But in the clinical context, when we talk about addiction, it is defined as a rewiring of the brain's reward system to the point where your particular behavior has become associated with something that is damaging your well-being. Okay, so we are doing things that are actually damaging our well-being and that is the definition of an addiction in the clinical context because if I'm addicted to things that are enhancing my well-being, that is not an addiction in the clinical context. So just to clarify on what I mean by that, okay? Now, I have personally gone through a lot of addictions in the past. I've talked to a lot of clients who are dealing with addictions currently and in the process of overcoming them. For me, I used to be addicted to sugar to the point where I would eat two tubs of Ben & Jerry's ice cream. I would munch on cookies to the point where I was just bloated. I was in a food coma. I was like passing out and wondering why I even followed through with this even though I wasn't that hungry, all right? Or whether we're talking about weed, I used to smoke every single day even though I didn't want to. And though I know that weed has a lot of benefits, it's definitely a tool that can expand your awareness and elevate your consciousness. But it's only a tool until the tool starts using you, okay? When you can't help yourself but spark up a joint, then you know that it is something that is damaging your well-being because it's holding you back from taking the actions that you have already deemed necessary, but when you're procrastinating on them, then you spark up a joint, you feel good, you distract yourself, and then you find yourself even worse off than before you spark that joint. All right, I'm speaking from personal experience, and maybe you can relate in this situation as well. Or whether you're talking about being addicted to validation to the point where I was chasing girls every single day, like that was my sole priority, would just get validation from some source outside of me and just follow through with continuous chasing and never really being satisfied but realizing that that's just a void inside, all right? All of these addictive behaviors are an attempt to fill the void on the inside. Now this void can actually exist for a number of different reasons, right? First and foremost, is perhaps unaddressed emotional baggage, emotional trauma, something that you went through as a kid, something that is not been dealt with properly. And because it's not been dealt with, this addictive behavior is actually something that comes up as a distraction in dealing with it, all right? So all of these addictive behaviors, these addictive habits become a coping mechanism for us to avoid what we experienced in the past, whether it's emotional baggage, whether it's emotional trauma that you went through, if that remains unaddressed, then this addiction will continue to show up in your life because it's just a band-aid which is covering you up from thinking about and addressing and getting to the root of why you feel the way that you do, all right? Any time that you're about to follow through with a particular behavior, particular habit that you know you're trying to stop, if you just sit in your place of silence and observe how you feel rather than identify with how you feel, 
then you can get to the root of why you feel the way that you do. And more often than not, it's something that needs to be addressed, whether it's emotional trauma, whether it is emotional baggage, whether it's something that you're distracting yourself from. If you don't sit there and observe how you feel, then you just go and act based on how you feel, act based on your emotions and distract yourself from how you feel. And that just becomes a repetitive cycle where you continue to exhibit that behavior again and again and again. All right, that's personally what I went through. I would smoke as a procrastination experience. I would chase girls as an experience to get validation because I didn't feel like I was enough and I needed something outside of me to validate whether I was actually enough. And of course, there is a requirement for that inner work to go deep into your own psyche and understand why you don't feel enough in the first place. Now, the second untold truth about porn addiction, about NoFap and about addiction in general is that it is a teacher in our lives. Okay, because a lot of times this destructive behavior, whatever it is that you are currently exhibiting right now, it's probably porn addiction because you are watching this video in general, but it is usually an attempt to fill a hole within us, right? Like I said, whether it's emotional baggage, whether it's emotional trauma, it can also be a void of purpose and meaning in your life. Because if you look at your destructive habits, they are something that are trying to fill the void of purpose and meaning of your life or they're distracting you from it to the point where you don't think about it and then you follow through with it. But it can also be said that if you're addicted to porn, then it is because you are not clear on what your path and purpose is in life. You are not clear on what meaning this life has for you. This life is a gift, okay? And until you learn what gift you want to give back to it, you will continue to distract yourself with these destructive behaviors, right? So the untold truth about pornography, about addiction, about NoFap is that it is an attempt. It is a coping mechanism to fill a void that runs very, very deep, right? Now, whether that void runs back to childhood, which is emotional trauma, which is emotional baggage, or whether that runs to this day where you are not clear on your path, on your purpose, on your mission, on your meaning, on your relationship with God, with the universe, with karma, whatever you want to call it, if you are not in touch with the greater purpose of your life, then going through these destructive habits are actually an attempt to fill that void. And if you can do the inner work and let go of this emotional trauma, if you can do the inner work and get clear on what it is that you're here to do in this life, then you can get to the root cause of what's driving this behavior rather than becoming identified as a no fap no fat for not or something like that where you're counting your streak every single day and still just using that as the only metric measure of success because that is only a band-aid for these root causes which are running very very deep okay so i hope this video has been valuable for you if you want to learn more about my work and how i help guys you can definitely check out the awaken your alpha program linked out below if it sounds like something you resonate with then we can get on a five minute call to figure out whether this is the best fit for you okay and of course if you want to see more videos from me just click a bunch of the buttons below the youtube algorithm will then show up more videos on your home page okay so this has been most Salim. i hope this has opened your eyes to why you are actually doing what you're doing rather than just continuously going through the motions of watching all of these different videos on youtube and getting to the root of what your purpose is in life what your meaning is in life what is your relationship to god why do you do what you do and if you can get clear on these things, then you can get to the root cause of porn addiction, of alcohol addiction, of whatever destructive behavior that you are exhibiting. Okay, so with all that being said, I'll see you in the next video.